I, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I just want to, this is kind of a test, and I want to show you just a little bit. I've got to prime about 10 blanks real quick, or base coat them in white. And this, I'm going to show you how I do water slide stickers. Everybody probably does them a little different. I have a few tricks that might help some people, so stay tuned. Let's see how you like it. That's my big thing. After. This is a test kind of to see what this looks like. Put it all together. Great bad thumbs. for a friend of mine who's got a channel on YouTube called Bogley's Keeping It Real. A lot of smallmouth fishing in the river, Delaware River, but he can be fishing for anything. There's some trout fishing, some striper fishing. Striper fishing videos are insane uh, out on the Raritan Bay. So if you get a chance, look him up. It's Bogley's Keeping It Real. I'll put a link down below if you want to go check it out. Once you have your bait primes, you're going to want to put one of these water slide stickers on. Now, I don't need to make any, so you won't see me make them, but I'll go through the process. What you buy is, it's called water slide decal paper. I buy it on Amazon. It's about a dollar a sheet, give or take. I'm not sure. Get your artwork. I just pick, take the logo and put it up on Word and put a whole bunch of them on there. And I put my little signatures that I put on the bottoms of the baits on there, whatever. I try and use up the whole sheet because I don't want to waste it. Once you make them, You've got them like this. You take them out and you clear coat them. I use that and it works fine. I put one coat going sideways, really, really light, and then really light coat going this way. You really just want to make sure you have the whole thing covered. Uh, this is definitely a case of more is not better. I once did one with too much clear coat and I couldn't get it to adhere to the blanks well. Then you want to cut them out. Now, the closer you can get to the actual artwork, in most cases, is better. In the case of this one, I had these little offshoots from the wheel, and it, they get too small if I cut them. So, I've been cutting them like this. I cut them around. I have enough cut out. I'm just going to cut this one to show you. One thing I do is I usually cut right across the ends of each of these real quick. Cut each one. I hope I'm not in your way. This is my first video, so don't shoot me. I do that. Sharp blades real good. Real nice to have. Do not put a lot of pressure. I'm back up. See, all I'm doing is making it a little wider so that it'll just give some more strength to the little end of the wheel. Okay, now once you have them cut out, 
what you want to do, I do them one at a time. It's just the way I am. Seems to work good for me. You do it how it works best for you. Throw it in some lukewarm water. I don't want it too hot. I want it warm. Make sure it's submerged. Let it go all the way down. And then the fun part, you get to let it sit. I always have a couple Q-tips ready, and I like to roll them tight. I don't want the big fuzzy everywhere. Keep them rolled tight. It's a tip I picked up on watching Zimtex. If you ever get to watch any of his stuff, he makes a lot of his baits. He paints really well. Zimtex on YouTube. Really, really great. Z-I-M-M-T-E-X. Fantastic stuff. Let it sit. <clears throat> you don't want to let it sit too long. But you got to let it sit long enough. Now, one thing I didn't go over completely. I should have done better. When you make this, make I make it in Word. Make it up. Print it. When you print it, you got to hit it with the clear coat, the stuff I showed you. Let it dry good. Then you take it and you cut it. This video is only about the application of the sticker. If you'd like to see a video where I make the whole entire sticker, I'd be glad to do it for you. Just let me know. If not, my next video is going to be making the brown trout lure that I have had so much success selling. And the guys seem to be tearing them up. So, now a lot of people like to slide it off right onto the lure. I can see this one's going to be tough. Maybe I have too much clear coat on it. I'll take it and put it on there right like that. That's how I do it. Now this one's going to be pretty nice, I think. Then use the Q-tip and gently, don't go too hard or you're going to move it. You'll move the whole thing. Roll that water out of there. This one's actually going on really, really nice. But I see a few higher spots. And a thing, a trick I like that works really well for me, I'm going to show you in a second here. I take my heat gun. You could use an air uh, hair dryer, whatever works. Take it. And this just, this will make it suck down into the ridges of the lure. It makes it hold real, real well. It makes it look almost as if you painted it on there. Really, really nice. And also, this will show you, you'll through this you'll see if an area is going to lift and if it is i take my fingernail and push it back down now not don't use too much heat too much heat and you're just going to make a mess it's one area that might look like it needs a little bit of going down but it doesn't there she is i'll roll across her with a q-tip again real quick make sure she's all pressed into place and that's it that's side one boldly's keeping it real it's a friend of mine with a youtube channel the man flat out loves to fish most of his fishing seems to be bass and catfish, but he's been doing some trout fishing lately. Just a fun guy who loves to catch fish. Real good guy, too. So if you get a chance, go check out his uh, channel. It's Bogley's Keeping It Real. As a matter of fact, we'll do it this way. Bogley's Keeping It Real, R-E-E-L. That's on YouTube. Definitely worth watching. Oops. When you put these in, make sure you press them all the way down. Make them go down so that they're submerged. It's really about that simple. The biggest tip I wanted to show you, I hadn't seen anyone working with the, the heat gun. And I don't know if we were supposed to be keeping that secret or what. But that really works. You see how nice that looks. While we're waiting for that one to loosen up. Some guys like to take it and they'll put it right over there and slide it off right onto the lure. I have two bad thumbs, so I can't finagle it like that so there's always got to be another way to do something I have a lot of bad things going on today you can drop it if you want that's okay make sure you got it set and you want to set it about the same location that you have the one on the other side let's see where i have that right about there let's see i gotta bring it up a little bit don't i yes i do you can move it a little bit well i forgot to do an important thing Put a little bit of water there. The water allows you to slide it around a little bit. And I got too cocky and didn't have any there. But it won't be the first time I've gotten too cocky. I like to think I know what I'm doing sometimes. Looking at it from the top like this, you can see if you've got them pretty well centered. And there you go. Take that water out of there. And there's not going to be much, but really be smarter than i was and put that water down there because if not when you put it on it's going to want to stay right where you put it and since you're putting like in this case one on each side of the bait you want to be able to move it a little bit so you got it lined up important thing with a water slide sticker don't rush it it's easy to do if you take your time 
And once this is done, I'm going to put a MIG, you don't have to watch all that. I'm going to put a MIG coat on, put eyes on, and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. After I put a clear coat on and it's all dry. One thing I do a lot, I'll show you here in a second, but that dry. On a lot of my baits, I like to put my name on the bottom. Sammy's baits. It's because I'm proud of what I do. Am I the best out there? No. I'm not the worst crankbait painter by far. I've been doing this for a couple years and my paint job is pretty good. But there are better out there. You know, I'll get there. But I'm proud of what I do, so I put my name on it. Thanks for watching. I'll show you the thing in a minute.